second class. Today we'll be doing our measurement on suit. So now we'll start on our back measurement. So I'll be taking my shoulder length here, which is from one end here to this other side here. That's for my shoulder measurement here. I started it for one point to this other point. That's how we measure for shoulder. And now I'll be working with the back. So the next part now will be taking from here to here, which is the arm side. It helps me to gauge my fabric when I'm making it. So I'm just going to get the whiteness from here. I'm starting from one end here to the other. So I'm also going to take the whiteness also from the waist here to this part here. I got 11 here. So this is for the back. And then I will take my length down to anywhere I want it to be. Depends on how the client wants it to be too. And now if I want to have a half cut, remember we are placing our tape here on this shoulder part. So I'm just going to take it down here. So I either work with 14 or 15 for this back. Now remember what we are doing now is just for the back. So I took my shoulder measurement. I took the wideness here. I took the wideness here and the length down to where I want it to be. So let's go over to the front. For the front part, I'm going to take the wideness here like this. So this other wideness, which is for one arm all side, just like what we did at the back. Then I'm going to take my boss measurement like this. Now, I will make sure that my tape will be able to go up and down just like this so i'm going to ask my client now if it's okay is it okay yes so it depends on what she wants then over i'm going to go under the boss here and i'm going to make sure i tighten it very well so you can see it now you can see the shape it gives it at the boss side because our button is going to go here and then i'm going to take the deepness of the opening which is at the lapel side depends on how the client wants it. If your client might decide to want it a bit upper, decide to want it a bit lower, depends on who you're working with. And then for the length of my suit wear, I'm going to take my tape and make sure it crosses the bust here. And then I'll take it down to wherever I want the length to. Now we're going to work on the sleeve. So I'm just going to ask my client now to just hold her hands. And then, I don't know if our camera can come a bit closer here. So I'm going to start from here like this. I'm going to pass my tape here. And then like this to this place so that's how I really take the length of my of my sleeve here so you can see it now here we got 25 I can try to make it 24 and a half so that it won't be too actually too long here so that's how I got the longness and then the next part here you're gonna work here you're gonna measure this area because yes we want it to be fit so I'm going to measure this area. So whenever I'm working, I'm going to say, okay, yeah, I got seven. So I'm going to remember when I'm working here, I need my seven. I'm going to measure this area before my, my ankle, like this. I'm still going to work with it because I don't want to do so many adjustments. So I'm also going to measure here too. Like this also. Now, for this part, I'm not really making it too tight because I want her to be a little bit comfortable on it, just like this. Then, on this top side, I'm still going to measure it like this, all around, like this. So, this is how I measure my roundness, like this. Now, it depends on the length. You can decide to make yours short here and then the long sleeve or three quarter if you want so that's how we take our body measurement on suits remember we also took the the 